Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Andrea and Alessia is over there. We're in the kitchen and I thought I would do a grocery haul because the last time I filmed one of these, I was pregnant with him actually. You were in my tummy last time we did this. Yeah. And you guys really, really liked it. So I thought an updated one was overdue. So let's get started. First off, I'm just gonna say this is our weekly shop, but it's not the same every week. It does change every week. Some weeks I get more cleaning products, some weeks I don't need cleaning products. Um, some weeks I get more chocolate, <laughs> some weeks I don't get as much. So just a little disclaimer, it's not the same every week. But I, I thought that this would give you an idea of how I feed our family of six. So I've laid everything out, not in order or anything, but just kind of where they go, like when I'm putting them away. So let's start with tinned goods. So I've got pineapple slices. I actually got a lot of these, just stocked up on them. Jonathan likes these on his pizza. Then I got tuna. This is always like a huge staple in our house. Tuna and sweet corn. I've got sweet corn, two. Uh, actually, I probably could have got three because we go through this really, really quickly. I got some of this coconut oil. This is the spreadable kind. This one's kind of expensive, but I use this one in our pancakes that we make every week. I ran out of sticky pickle, so I got some of that. Got some anchovies, I like them on my pizza. I got Nutella, again, a staple in our house. I got a big family pack of mayonnaise, again, really important. The kids stayed at their Auntie Erica's house. The older kids stayed at Auntie Erica's house for like a night and she had sour cream and onion Pringles, so I had to get sour cream and onion Pringles because now they are obsessed with them. I got some egg noodles for a recipe that I'm doing. I got some rigatoni for another recipe I'm doing at the weekend. Stocked up on some plain flour. Got some blanched almonds for another a recipe. Actually, it's the one with the pasta. I always get a variety of snacks, like healthy snacks for the kids and then I put them in a big jar. So I've got Organics, Alphabet, Biscuits, Jammy Monsters, Date Bars, I get Apple and Banana, and then Carrot Cake Bars, which is probably their favorite of the bunch. For snacks for the grown-ups, and well, actually, all of us now, um, I get some granola bars. So I've got one of these, because we, we already have quite a lot. These are the Sweet and Salty Nut Bars from Nature Valley, and then, the kids love these Cadbury's brunch bars. I always get two packs of bananas, two bunches of bananas. I got some chocolate hobnobs, because Jonathan wanted them. And then, okay, so this is gonna look like a lot, and I know I'm gonna get a ton of comments like, oh, that's so much chocolate, but I stock up for our jar. We have like a treat jar, and it's probably more like every two or three weeks that I buy this amount of chocolate. So yeah, just bear that in mind. I just got a variety of fun size bars. That's what I always do for the treat jars. So we've got buttons, Milky Way, Bounties, Maltesers, Mars, Twix. I thought you heard the rustling of the chocolate. Snickers, Magic Stars, Straight Race Favorite, and Frenchies. Then, these are all Jonathan's snacks. So he likes, he likes, um, he likes spicy snacks. Nobody else does. So these are lentil chips, chili and lemon flavor. Hummus chips, chili and lemon flavor. Quinoa chips, chili and lime flavor. And then for the kids, I get veggie straws, which are just like, they taste like food foods. They don't taste, they just taste like crisps, like original flavor. And then, pretzels, because I'm eating after first pretzels. I got two cherry, chocolate cherry protein shakes for Jonathan. I got some dill for a recipe. I'm making fish pie this week. I got two of these apple juices. These are for Jonathan. He likes to drink these with his dinner. Um, and then I got two packs, no, I got three actually, of this isn't bacon. So it's fake bacon, vegan bacon. That's also for Jonathan. 24 eggs. We eat a lot of, well, 
Jonathan eats two eggs every day, and then like I make scrambled eggs for the kids sometimes. I use them in baking and stuff like that. So we always get a lot. This is just for me. This is ridiculous because it's pretty expensive. It's crab, but I really, really love it. So I treat myself like once a week. I make crab for my lunch. I've got chili peppers for different recipes. I bought a ton of cherry tomatoes. I usually buy probably like two packs for like sandwiches and um, salads and stuff like that. But I need them for a recipe too, so there's more. I got two packs of mushrooms for one recipe each. I got baby leeks, again for a recipe. I can do a meal planning video if you guys want me to. Just let me know in the comments below because I know I keep saying for a recipe, for a recipe. That's what I mean is that I meal plan for the week and then I buy accordingly. So I got some sugar snap peas for a stir fry for tonight. The kids have been banished to their playroom because they were terrorizing the dogs. This is what happens if I'm like on the phone or I'm filming or I'm busy with something, they just go mental. So that's why they're not here anymore. Okay. So I also got pak toy again for that stir fry I mentioned. I got a, I always get cucumber, cucumber and tomatoes and one more thing, rocket. They're always my staples for like salads and sandwiches and stuff. Um, I always get, I should add them to the list actually, these Romano peppers. I always get these every week too, about two packs because I eat them, Jonathan eats them. We love them. I got a bunch of spring onions for a recipe. I got some creme fraiche, again, for a recipe. I got two punnets of strawberries because they're in season right now and they're really, really good. I got raspberries and blueberries. I got one pack of chicken because I already have like two packs in the freezer so I didn't need to get um, a ton of meat or fish or anything this week. I got two packs of cooked chicken for sandwiches two packs of yogurts we already had two left so usually i would get four but we had two left over i got some greek yogurt for me i love that on my granola i got cheddar cheese a must and then i got four bowls of mozzarella these are for our pizzas that we have on friday night i got some gruyere which is for a mac and cheese recipe that i'm making i always get three or four two liter um, bottles, <laughs> this is a carton of milk. So we go through about, I would say it's about three. Yeah, probably like three of these every week. Oatly uh, barista milk. Thank you for telling us. All right, come on. Let's go to your wheelie. And then, like I mentioned, pizza night, we get four pizza bases. The kids have two now. Well, they probably eat like one and a half, and then we always have leftovers. Um, and then Jonathan and I get one each, and then we make our own pizzas on Friday night. So that's that. And then I've just got some puff pastry roll for a recipe. Also got some brown onions. I'm running out of them. I got some honey, because we needed some of that. I got some balsamic vinegar glaze. This isn't the one that I usually get. I usually get this one, but it was out of stock, so I'm gonna try this one. Then I got some oyster sauce, and I usually get, so actually, I probably should only get two of these, because I've been noticing that we have an excess every week, but the kids love these brioche buns. They're brioche, um, burger buns but we don't use them for burgers they have them in the morning and so i usually buy about three packs of them but like i said we have one left over from last week so i probably shouldn't only buy two and then i buy two packs of these soft kids wraps for their lunches i get one pack of brioche rolls these are just handy to have like i don't buy this every week but they're just handy to have in the house and then one pack of the same brioche rolls with chocolate chips because they love them at the weekend. And then we also needed some uh, non-stick baking paper. We ran out. I just put all my cleaning products over here. So again, like I said, this isn't every week, but these are just the things that I needed this week. So Bin Buddy, <laughs> this stuff's really good. Um, it just basically is like this, I don't know, dust or salt or 
some kind of sand that you just shake into your bin and it eliminates odor. So I really recommend that. Um, I've also got some hand wash just for in here, antibacterial hand wash. This oven cleaner is amazing. I know this is like so random, but it really does work. It comes with a sponge. It's by Astonish and it's won a ton of rewards. So if you're looking for a good oven cleaner, I recommend this one. Um, I got some cistern toilet blocks, really fun and interesting. I got some of these Lenore Unstoppables. I put these in our wash because they smell nice. I got a mega pack of fairy dishwasher capsules. I got some lime scale remover. I got some bleach and some toilet duck. Mommy. Yes. Oh dear. He has a big snow like this. He has a big snow. I know, it's because he's got a cold. Oh, look, look, he has, look, okay. he has, look, he has a big snow like this all over here. So, then I put toiletries over here. We need a toilet roll. I get nappies every week. I get this little pack of 24 every week. This is Andrea size five. I usually get a pack of simple wipes and I needed some body lotion. I get this Walida, Walida one, almond. because so I just love the scent of almond. And then I got some Corsidol for Jonathan. Jonathan likes his uh, Corsidol. He's very particular about what type it is. So it's the Corsidol daily and I got six. Cause it's always out of stock. I think it's the best one or something. And then, last but not least, I got Golden Hash Browns. These are gluten-free ones. These are the ones Jonathan likes other than his favorite, which are Cauliflower Hash Browns. And I get two packs. And then I got a fish pie mix, because I'm making fish pie. I got some fish fingers, which is always a staple. And then Jonathan likes, the, well, he actually really likes the uh, Magnum vegan ice creams, but they're all out of stock because we just had a heat wave. So I think everybody's buying up ice creams. So I found these ones by Miro and I thought I would try them. I mean, for him, I have had this before and I'm just not a fan of dark chocolate, but he likes the dark chocolate. So I got him these. And that is everything in our weekly shop this week. So hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was interesting for you. Uh, let me know if you want me to do that meal planning video. I think I did one like a few years back, but I probably could do an updated one and probably like now that we have more family members too, it has probably changed. So please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more. I upload Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays now and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.